Hello, I'm Gareth Jameson. I'm an actor and a voice coach, and I teach people how to make changes to their voice. When you're going to do a Spanish accent, the first sound we're going to look at is the R sound. I should point out that, of course, there are many variations of a Spanish accent because not only have you got Spain, you've got the Canary Islands, you've got all, most of South America and some of Central America, so huge variations. But this is just a general approach. So, first of all, the R sound. Now, it's not like our British R, it's a rolled R. R technically called an alveolar trill. Rrr. If you can't do this, something that might help is to think of the word done. Any word that begins with a letter D and push that letter D really hard up here, up against the roof of your mouth. Drrr, drrr. Don't think about doing an R at all. Think about a really weird pushed D. Rrr. Just keep practicing that. So, we use that R sound where we would normally use our British R. So let's try this phrase. Bring these red cars. Bring these red cars. Sometimes it's really short, just one little roll. Bring these red cars. Rrr. Now let's look at the vowel sounds. In Spanish, they only have five vowel sounds, whereas in English we have around 12, depending on how you measure them. So they have a, e, i, o, and u. Only five. So if they encounter two different vowel sounds in English that are not existent in Spanish, and they'll have to use one of the native five. So, for example, in the word ship, we have that vowel, and we have sheep in sheep. So, ship, e, sheep, e. A Spanish person encounters these and is likely to say sheep, sheep. It's between the two, sheep. So, there's no difference between um, uh, I went on board sheep and the field was full of sheep. It's the same. The same is the case with the vowels e and a. A lot of Spanish speakers will confuse them and just say e. Eh. So we get um, pen becoming pen, and pain, as in I hurt myself, being pen. Same sound. Another one is the H sound. Now, Spanish has what's called a voiceless uvular fricative. This is the sound at the back. Back there. Instead of an H. So sometimes you'll hear people saying, How are you, Henry? How are you, Henry? How are you? Give that a try as well. Something else that might help is the y sound at the beginning of words like you and yes. Some Spanish speakers find that hard at the beginning of words and put in a y sound. You. How are you? You can use my pain. You can use my pain. It's fine. Like this. Uh, the final thing that we can look at is the Spanish delivery. So in English we have something we call stress timing. We stretch some words out and other words are very small like this. In Spanish, every word is like this, really like a machine gun going like this. All one syllable like this. So this is how you want to speak it if you want to speak with a Spanish accent. It's like this, very, very machine gun. <laughs>